comparison has a multitude of different abilities and functionalities, all of which can be controlled and configured using the different setting options within the settings section of the tool. Clarison system settings enable you to determine global functionalities, behaviors, and reminders, as well as to set different visualization options. Organization defaults can be determined for regional settings, working week calendars, currencies, default views and filters, and much, much more. System settings can be accessed by admin users by going to Settings and then selecting the System Settings tab. For each setting, you can see the Clarison out-of-the-box default value and view additional details. The value of each setting can be changed from this screen according to the setting type and your organizational needs. Settings are categorized according to the areas they affect in the system and give you the ability to expand and collapse each section. For instance, you can determine the approval flow for timesheets in the time tracking section and set up your default organizational date format and other visual settings in the user interface section. When one or more settings change, be sure to click on Save in order to save the new value. Once you do, a confirmation message will pop up to let you know that your changes were successful. Let's move over to the Layout tab. The Layout tab allows you to control the navigation panel content, properties cards, add modes, default views, and much more. More information about configuring the layout for your users, including default views, property cards, add modes, and more, can be found in the layout tutorial. Additional organization level settings, including the calendar, default language, time zone, and cost and billing rates, can be accessed in the Global Settings tab. Each of the aforementioned settings can be further defined on groups, job titles, and users, allowing you to configure the system for each individual user based on their location in the company and globally. In addition to these settings, the Global Settings also allows you to fully customize the look and feel of Clarison in terms of colors, fonts, and even background to fit your company's branding. Changes to these stylings can be made in the Custom CSS field. Be sure to speak to your Custom Success Manager for more information about branding Clarison. Let's move on to the Users Group module by accessing the Navigation panel and selecting User Groups. Group level settings can be updated from each individual group's property card. For example, you can override the default language and time zone at the user group level and then apply these changes for the relevant members. To override cost and billing rates for a specific job title, simply access the Job Title module and update the relevant values. Clarison even gives you the ability to override settings on a user level. Let's go to the People module from the Navigation panel and click to drill down to a user and their property card. Each user can configure their homepage, language, time zone, and even access their calendar in order to set up PTO days and working days. Financial users also have the ability to determine the cost and billing rates for an individual user, and admins can determine job titles and a user's direct manager. Some organizational settings are hierarchical, meaning one level can override a previous one. For example, the regional settings such as time zone and language, the default landing page, and the calendar. Let's use time zone as an example. The default time zone of an organization is determined in the organization's profile card and will be the value for all groups and users. Groups also have the same time zone setting, and it can be set as the default value for all members in that group by selecting the Apply on Members option, as we just saw. As soon as this has been done, all members of the group will no longer have the default organization time zone, but will rather inherit the group time zone. The last level is the user level. For example, a specific user within a group may be located in a different time zone altogether, such as Fred from the customer success team. While most of the group members are located in California, Fred is located in London and can set his time zone accordingly. Changing the time zone at the user level will override both the group and organization level time zone setting. Calendars can go one level deeper with the ability to create project calendars that can override a user's calendar. Let's move over to the project level now, where we can set the calendar and override other relevant settings. The Work Items Properties card allows you to override the work policy and time tracking settings that were determined at the organization level. 
You can also add specific project-only non-working days to the calendar and determine work item level billing rates for specific job titles or users that will override the defaults. This gives you full flexibility when working in Clarizen and allows you to manage several different projects and methodologies in one comprehensive tool. To learn more about Clarizen, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarizen experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarizen yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarizen. See you back soon.